with you guys who don't know anything about anime. This is Anime for Amateurs. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to a very long-awaited special episode of Anime for Amateurs, the show where two guys who don't know anything about anime tell you our opinions about it. So we're back after our a little, um, you know, holiday break, mm -hmm. and and we're back in it. We're back in it. We're being amateur, amateurs again. That's right. Very back exciting. To being amateurs. <laughs> So far, we've reviewed Hunter x Hunter, Road Punch Man, our Christmas special, of course, um, Sailor Moon, which was mm -hmm. fun, Soul Eater. Mm -hmm. um, what, what else, what else what am I missing? Uh, here, Sword Josh? Art Online, oh. I think we also hit. Sword Art Online, yes. Mm -hmm. We enjoyed all of that. Um, so far, um, from our ranking system that we do, um, Hunter x Hunter is still 6920, our best review. <laughs> So we're getting into something a little different today. Everything we've watched up to this point has been very action-based, but this one is coming in just in time for Valentine's Day. And this is actually a romance slash drama called Shigatsu Wakimi Noso, or in English, Your Lie in April. The basic plot is that a piano prodigy lost his ability to play after suffering a traumatic event in his childhood, and he's forced back into the spotlight by an eccentric girl with a secret of her own. Um, mm. so yes, very musical based. Um, an interesting fact you bring up Hunter Hunter, Erica Mendez, who voiced uh Gone, Gone is actually played by a woman, very similar to Bart Simpson, is is voiced by a female voice actress. Um, Erica Mendez actually plays a part in this show, also. So we'll be seeing her pop up again. So if you notice some similarities between any of the characters in Gone, that's probably because they're voiced by the same actress. Um, so yeah. this show, I mean, I, I mean, I, I'm thinking maybe we. Not like I I know that what we're doing right now is your lie in April. Maybe maybe we should have done this in April. Oh, but guess what? This is a love story <laughs> That's right. That's right. <laughs> that is is due for February oh. for Valentine's Day. I'm really looking forward to this. Me too. I really am because I I think this is going to be different from the other stuff we've been watching. And just keep in mind the number to beat is sixty nine twenty from Hunter Hunter. Sixty nine right. out of twenty. That's, That's the right. number to beat. Yeah, Hunter x Hunter is a very strong show. We'll see how this pairs up. I mean, a big part of anime for me so far that I've enjoyed is the action. So we'll see what happens when we take that out of the equation. Is is this going to stand up to the rest of them? We'll see. Um, just a little bit of background info. Uh, this is based on a manga series, as all the anim animes we've watched so far are. Um, it ran from 2014 to 2015, so a very short-lived series. Um, and then they did a live action version in 2016 that I've seen the poster for on Netflix. And just, we've said this before about live action adaptions of anime. It just doesn't look, doesn't look like it hits in quite the same way, but we'll see. Um, I, I think depending on how this goes, we might want to actually go check out the live action, maybe compare the two. Um, maybe. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that's, that's the basics of it. Um, we have a whole rating system and we'll get into that after we watch it. But uh, is there anything else you want to say before we get into this one, Spence? I'm looking forward to this. I don't have any other comments. Let's just jump right into it. Let's do it. Cool. Let's do it. This is the part where the guys sit back and watch an anime, but we play it fast because of copyright. Right, so that was your lie in April. Man, that was a visual treat. A visual smorgasbord, I would say. Yeah, yeah, all right, give me your first impression, Spence. Actually, before we do that, let's just refresh. Uh, mm -hmm. For anyone who hasn't seen this before, we're about to rate this based on a rating system we made up totally out of having no experience with anime at all. Uh, we rate it based off of animation, characters, plot, and watchability. Mm -hmm. um, we give it a score out of five on each of those categories. Total score out of 20. Um, the score to beat right now is Hunter Hunter in the lead with 16 out of 20. So let's see how this does. Spence, what are, what are your thoughts here, man? Um, beautiful. Yeah. Um, everything about this is beautiful. Um, I, I'm going to admit right now, I don't even know these characters' names. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't know. I don't know one character name. I'll, I'll be. I'll be surprised if you don't one, and I'll be happy if you do. 
I don't. I was just so busy looking at what they had to show, to show me. Mm-hmm. Like, they showed me everything. I mean, yeah. from, this is a clinic of animation. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was a clinic. I mean, from the uh, nature at animation, nature eth- aesthetics, mm-hmm. to going from being, I mean, I just love this style of anime. Um as far as how you draw your characters. Mm-hmm. And then they jump into like the traditional style of anime. Mm-hmm. Like when there's emotions involved. My number is 10, 10 out of 10. <laughs> All right, well, since it's out of five, we gotta give it a five out of five. Um, oh yeah, right, oh God. Yeah, I'm rusty. <laughs> now we, you know <laughs> I'm rusty. Right. Yeah. Five out of five yeah. animation. Like, just to start with, I'm obviously giving this a 5 out of 5 also. This was stunning. And yeah, exactly what you said, Spence. The um, the way they switched between those two styles. We've seen people trying to do this before. Um, I guess this is with, a common uh, joke within anime. With, uh, what's the one they tried to do it with? Soul um, Eater tried to do it. Very Soul unsuccessfully, Eater. in my opinion. Because it went from this... Um, like, what we saw here was the right way to do they it. They tried to do it with One Punch too. One Punch... But that yeah. was better. Yeah. yeah, One Punch, I think, did it successfully also because they kept true to their style of, of manga that it was sourced from originally as a webcomic. This one, though, did a very, like, like exactly like you said, they had this, like, very beautiful, well-drawn aesthetic, and then they switched into a more stripped-down cartoony thing. But where Soul Eater got lazy with it, where they used that as an excuse to just, like, quick quickly draw a bunch of frames, they, um, Your Lie in April kind of went extra, like they started adding all these cool background effects in and they they did like some really cool stuff with color. Like they took that as an opportunity. This whole thing was animators showing off, right? I mean, this was yeah. just yeah. animators showing yeah. off the it, entire time. It's a showcase. Yeah. It's a, yeah, it's, this it's, was it's a an showcase. animation showcase. Yeah, totally. I mean, um, a couple things that stood out to me were, um, you know, moving through the scenery is always, always a highlight of the anime that we've seen so uh, far at least. But in this moved. one... It was, again, there was no laziness at all. I mean, a lot of times they'll show a still frame of, let's say, like a cityscape or a landscape or whatever, and they'll just go like, look at this beautiful painting we did. But Your Lion April didn't do that. They showed this the cityscape. They showed the cars moving through. They showed little uh, things flickering through the air and, and like having the light hit off of them, you know? Animation, 10 out of 10, exactly like you said, Spencer. Um, but no, easy five for me. Easy, easy five. All right, so let's let's get into characters then. Characters were pretty um, pretty deep for anime. This is this is more depth than we typically see in in anime. I think character wise, um, you already even just after the first episode, you kind of have a good feel of like what the characters' motivations are. What the you know the different characters all have different types of motivations. Um, and they play off of each other really well. You know what? I, I'm gonna give the characters a five out of five. I got I got nothing bad to, to say about them. Oh, nice. That's surprising to me. Yeah, what do you think? Yeah. Um, honestly, if I'm being a hundred percent honest, I don't recall any of the characters. I don't I mean, I don't know their names, like you said. Mm-hmm. I mean, obviously this 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 show is character driven. This is this is like a teenage drama anime style. Yeah. This is what it's supposed to be. Um, but much like um, the first episode of American teenage dramas, you're not really hooked first mm. about the characters. It's mostly plot driven, and even if it's not plot driven, it's more like how does it look? How do the, how do how do the characters look? How do the actors and actresses look? It's really not about who they are. I'm yeah, gonna give right. this a two. I'm Ooh, not. Okay. I'm not. I'm. I'm not about. I'm not really about the characters in this right now. Yeah, fair. All right. So that brings us to plot. Um, jump in. Talk, talk to me about plot. Again, I don't know. <laughs> there, there's no plot. There's no plot on this. This is about right now. They're developing characters slowly. It's very, very slowly at a minute pace. This is a this is a teenage drama anime. That's what it's supposed to be. Um I 
didn't get much of the plot. I'm going to give it a one. Wow. Wow. And there we go. I, I will say the, the plot is is probably kind of basic in the sense of like, like you say, it's it's like a teenage drama. So we've seen these play out. We know how the love triangle is probably going to play out, you know. And Josh, um, you hate those shows. You hate those shows. I'm surprised you as a fan of things like Degrassi and stuff that this wasn't right up your alley. I love those shows. <laughs> yeah, I know. But you know what? I think I got drawn in with the animation and then there mm-hmm. is a, there is there's a cool element to it, and um, maybe I'm just empathizing because I'm a musician or whatever. But I like mm-hmm. the angle of of him trying to connect with his music and kind of seeing it as more of a job than an actual art form. But then you know this this love interest shows up, and it kind of maybe is going to spark an interest back into into music into this this art form. So um, I don't know it it. it it worked for me. It worked for me. I don't. I don't I know think, why. I think. I think that this would be a better read for me than a watch. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's very interesting. Yeah. Maybe some of the um, some of the subtleties kind of get lost in translation, uh, literally. Um, but yeah. That being said, I I'm gonna have to give the plot a four. I'm I'm pretty interested to see what's what happens next with these guys. I I want to see how things play out, even though we could probably guess. I'm I'm still interested. All right. So Yeah. We, What's next? What do you got next? We got we got animation characters plot and the last category, of course, is watchability. And that is how likely are you to watch more of this show? <laughs> That's okay. Speak your truth, Spence. Speak your listen, truth. Listen, listen, I love how it looked. Mm-hmm. It looked great. Mm-hmm. I'm not interested at all wow. i'm not like I'm, I'm i'm really not interested i'm not like there's n- there's nothing about this that made me psyched like i don't care i really don't care and that's Whoa. crazy I, I'm, because it looks so it looked great it looked it looks phenomenal but i'm not invested in these characters um this reminds me of a a friends or a the grassy like you said or mm-hmm. like a, a you know the office like it's just like a story about people and but but Unlike those shows that I just rattled off, there's no investment for me for these characters. I don't feel for them at all. I have no one. I really don't care how they progress. I don't have any affection towards them. That Mm -hmm. first episode, like they try to do always is to make you invest in the characters. I'm not invested in these characters. Like to me, it's like this. It's like they try to make a generic show. It's like they it's like they use a show and then try to copy it. Like some random American show that they copied and try to do the same thing. Mm-hmm. Aesthetically it looks beautiful, but I, I mean I'm not I, I don't even know these characters' names. Mm-hmm. That's how you know I'm not invested. I, I, I really could care less. So zero. Wow. You're gonna give yeah. it a zero on watchability. You will not watch another episode of this. Holy nope. cow. I won't. Well, again, I couldn't disagree with you more. I mean, I I agree with everything you're saying in the sense of like, yes, it feels like the generic thing. I mean, it's it's before I've watched a single anime, this is what I pictured anime being, right? It's it's kids in prep school uniforms. They're drawn exactly like how you would picture anime. Um, the the it's just drama surrounding like, oh my god, this person's talking to this person, and this. It's all of that, right? But it's like a masterclass and all of that. Like they nailed every part of that for me. Yes, did they do a generic, uh, just just basic teenage drama show? Yeah, but they did it like super well. I thought. I mean, look that moment. That I'm sorry, Spence, but tell me this this moment didn't give you a little bit of feels when he says like, "Oh no, I'm not gonna go do that thing. I'm the stubborn main character who's just depressed," and then you just see a hand come out of nowhere and just that got me, man. That got me. This feels. This it, feels. It. I'm. I'm just saying. Like I, mean, I said, aesthetically, aesthetically beautiful. Yeah, but and I'll be honest. You that can't. Alone, you can't even name one character from this show. No, but I. But I could tell you what all their motivations are, <laughs> and I could tell you what roles they played within it. So it's for me. This is a five. I would watch it again just for the animation. A five. A five. I would. I would sit and. I mean, I felt. I, I'm, a I'm sorry. 
five. I, this is not a logical thing for me. This is a feeling based decision for me. I felt great watching this. This felt like a breath of fresh air. I felt like I was laying out in the lawn with them breathing in fresh springtime air. Look, maybe it's the winter doldrums getting me down. But just seeing like all that sun coming through the cherry blossoms, all that. I felt great watching it and I would definitely watch it again. I absolutely would just because of how it made me feel. So yeah, I got, I got to give it a five. If you don't know, if, if you haven't watched the previous episodes of Anime for Amateur, we're usually on the same team. That's true. As, That's true. We typically this, agree. This is the furthest dichotomy that we've had. That's true. Yeah. And we couldn't yeah. be more opposite on this. I mean, except the, we both agree the animation was a <laughs> masterclass, right? We can't. Oh yeah. Yeah. All right. So I can let sleep me. Well without having seen this. Let me <laughs> let me tally up these scores real quick. Um, so animation, we both gave it a five. So it's a five out of five. Um, characters, um, I gave it a four. You gave it a two. That brings it to an average of three. Um, plot, you gave it a one. I gave it a four. That brings it to an average of three. Watchability, you gave a zero. I gave a five. Brings it to an average of three. So that brings us to a total score of three six fourteen out of twenty. So yeah, this is yep. a nice addition. Um, you know, I know we kind of yeah. went back and forth a little bit here. We kind of butted heads, which is atypical for us. But you know what? Love it's it. bound to happen. I love it. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I love me too. it. <laughs> me too. The controversy, the drama. And listen, we're, I'm hoping that there's going to be more drama next time when we do Demon Slayer. Ooh. I have been excited about Demon Slayer for a while. I won't, I won't even get into it because we'll save it for the episode. But guys, this has mm -hmm. been Anime for Amateurs. Happy Valentine's Day for all the single people out there. Uh, happy anti-Valentine's Day. We love you. Happy love Sequel you. Awareness Day. That's right. Uh. That's right. <laughs>